Guys, we are back with a new SB19 video and today we're doing an interview. I was googling Rappler SB19 just to see if they added subtitles on the Rappler interview and then this popped up and it's from ET Canada and the good thing is we don't need subtitles because it's an English interview and I'm so excited. They're finally going to start because of the world tour, we're going to start doing more English interviews. That's going to be so fun. I'm really enjoying those. So let's go. This one is called Boy Ben SB19 Reveal Who Would Survive a Zombie Apocalypse Extended. Definitely Josh. Josh would survive. Everyone else would die, probably, most likely. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Guys, also, if you're asking me about the concert, will I react? Did I watch the fan cams? I'm trying to not to f watch anything. Like, I'm scrolling, but I'm not watching the actual performances. I have not checked the set list. I just don't want to know anything, so I'm more surprised when I watch it live. Because I don't want to know the choreography, I don't want to know anything, so I'm not watching the clips. So, yeah. Oh, hey, let's go. Everyone, my name is Ken. I'm Josh. I'm Justin. I'm Stel. I'm Pablo. We're SB19. It must feel good to be at SB19 in 2023. Uh, congratulations on Pacta Tag. For, for people that are new Oh, he said Pacta Tag really tell well. Us what that means, what that EP title <laughs> Okay, this is too uh, funny for, because for people that are they're like, what is this English you're talking? <laughs> they all went like, what? <laughs> can you tell us what? <laughs> Justin looks so scared. He's like, okay, what, what it, this is giving me is Justin looking at the staff. You didn't tell me this was an English interview. <laughs> that means, what that EP title means. Um, fact the tag is, uh, directly means to like strengthening. So, um, it is the second part of our, um, EP. So the first one is flexible, which means growth or the sprout and then right now it's pagta tag means strengthening so from flexible that we are trying to um, identify who is sb19 um right now in pagta tag it is this, this is, is sb19 you guys are embarking on this massive tour part of which is you come to canada which is amazing three years ago <laughs> could you have seen yourselves where you're at now doing this massive tour um, being part of, the, of, of, of the, the Billboard Music Awards, achieving the things that you guys have achieved in the last little while. Well, we dreamed. We, we dreamed, dreamed, yeah, we dreamed yeah, of it. it. Um, and that that's one of our ultimate goals. But then, when we're when we're uh, in that time, we just we're just focus thinking. Oh, we're just focused on what's in in front of us. So uh, on our task. But then, right now. Um, realizing that we have achieved or somehow achieved the goals that we have been dreaming of. Yeah, it feels, it, uh, we're really, really proud and grateful to all of the people who have supported us. Yeah. You know, one of the, those goals you said was to like, disrupt uh, the music scene and bring Filipino music and culture to the masses around the world. Uh, why, do you, why, why is it important for you guys to bring Filipino culture to the world stage? Well, well Filipinos are very talented and I think it's a great are. opportunity for the Filipinos to be known in singing because I think I mean in art. Yeah, in art, in our culture, the in performance. So um Damn, Justin is doing a lot of talking percent Philippines uh globally in, in terms of you know skills and talent that we have. So uh, right now it's very overwhelming that there's a lot of uh uh filipinos that uh supporting us not not only here in the philippines but also uh, uh abroad uh yeah especially canada yeah yeah i think it's one of our goals to uh really promote uh philippine culture and so soon we soon we can help the economy of the philippines as well wow. yeah. And cultures. right yeah you know june is a uh, filipino heritage month here oh in it canada. is People are celebrating. People are proud to be Filipino. Oh, what makes you the most proud to say that you're Filipino and to and again to like to share your music and your art with everyone all over the world? Well, everything, everything, like everything. The, the language, the experiences that we've had. Yeah, we were translated to our songs, our music, and we transposed it and 
we try to like what we we were talking about earlier. We try to Josh saying everything the Filipino heritage was and culture so adorable all over the world through our music and everything. Everything that we do. Oh my god, I love the way he says everything. Proud, I think. Uh, what about you guys? Well, Filipinos are known for being like talented one, being happy person, people. So I think that's something that we can be proud of to um, show the world that this is this this we are Filipinos. Like we are like this. We are um, talented. We are passionate on our dreams and whatnot. Yeah, and I think uh, one of the most valuable thing about Filipino uh, is. They 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 really don't give up on anything. Just like yeah, us. that's good. Yes, yeah. yeah that is that is a big part of your uh, your journey is sticking it through. Don't give up. And getting to this point. What did, what does it feel like to be able to play the U.S. for the first time? Well, second um, time you mean, Mister? Well, when we when we first went to the U.S., we were very um, what do you call it? Like overwhelmed. Uh, a lot, lots of emotion. Emotion. Yeah, mixed yeah. up emotion. We were struggling at first, and we were we don't know what to expect because there right. are lots of foreigners watching us. It's a different um, set of audience for us. They have different humors. They have different. Uh, it, it, it's the first time that they've seen us, but it was the best feeling ever when they started singing our songs because you know. They have different cultures, and we were surprised that. Right, I'm singing words I don't even know what they mean. It <laughs> yeah, do you do you ever get overwhelmed by uh, the amount of love you'll get online from your fans all over the world? Of course. Sometimes we we were questioning ourselves: Why do they love us? <laughs> <laughs> they love us. So why is there not to love oh, about you? Questions ourselves if we really deserve all the love. So we really try to we deserve it. <laughs> yeah, we really try to um well ganapan what do you mean ganapan in English? <laughs> well we we really try to um give back. Like with great power comes with great responsibility, right? We really yeah. take the responsibility as you know as their role model so we would be able to give a good example to the fans as well. Stell is not talking, so is listening. You guys are coming to Canada. Do you have any relatives in Canada that are hitting you up? Like, yo, I gotta come to the concert. Like people that are really stoked to come and see you guys. Yeah, I think I have. Cause yes. my family is like, m like mice. <laughs> Josh, <laughs> right? <laughs> Josh is family everywhere. LA, Vegas, Canada. Maybe he's got some in London. Who knows? Every state he goes, there's a cousin. <laughs> yeah, but I have a lot. I have a lot. Lots of. Uh, it's crazy, bro. Relatives crazy, in the states bro. of Canada. Nice. One of my college friends, um, she's living in Canada right now, and she's oh. the one who pushed me to go training and perform. So <gasps> I hope to see her in Oh Canada. my God. You gotta who have is that mystery? Million, I guess, when you, when you get here. Person. What are you most excited about for the Canadian part of your tour? Maybe the cold weather. Oh, yeah. It's, it's the most exciting summer. part, but- Is it's it gonna be cold though? It's, it's summer. Cold. It's gonna be, we're, we're not sure. sure. We're not uh, it's not gonna be cold. Uh, since it's gonna be the first time that we're going to Canada, the most exciting part is seeing Canada in person. Yeah. yeah. Like late summer, it's going to be hot here, but you guys aren't going to feel it. You're not going to think it's hot. Like all my I relatives from the Philippines that, uh, that come maybe, here. Yeah, really different weather. But I, I wanted to, to visit the Niagara Falls. Oh, nice. it's the best. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've been I there. Yeah, it's visit. scary though, but it's so okay. Beautiful. So I gotta. This is a real, real serious question. Okay, a real hard hitting serious question for you guys. Uh, in Pactatag, we're talking about post apocalyptic world. Resources are scarce. Um, which one of you would be the most prepared in the event of a zombie apocalypse? I think mean, it, it should be me. It's it Josh. Uh, I think it's me because I all I, every day I play war games, you know, like Call of Duty, zombies. Gonna... Yeah, so 
I would know. I, of course, it's I would know. <laughs> Josh, <laughs> Josh is taking it personally. Uh, you'll, be, you'll, you'll be the, the main That's a very Ken would be way too lazy. He would die within two seconds. He'd be like, kill me already. Warehouse or in a grocery store, yeah. and then there's a zombie apocalypse. I'm wondering. Yeah, what, I think what would be our task if if, if uh, Justin turned into a zombie? I'm very sorry, Justin. <laughs> No, I would, if, I would I, not kill him. I would not. I feel like if I became a zombie, they will be a zombie as well. Because I'm a good zombie. Oh. <laughs> if that happens, no one's ready. Right. Yeah. Justin would turn yeah, zombie and then he would like around, feel like bad to eat people. Be just dancing together in sync. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. They would. That's it. Ma, they would just start singing mana. <laughs> Listen, you zombie mana. Me when you guys come to Toronto. You come by, visit, teach me some dance moves, okay? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Of course. Oh my god, this was so good. Ugh, first of all, I love interviews like this because the interviewers, like, he's so prepared. It's really great quality. I mean, obviously, SB19 is still on that Philippines quality because <laughs> Wi-Fi there <laughs> is a struggle. But that was a fun interview. Josh did so well. Damn. You know, sometimes I feel like the more they talk, the better they go. And this is like the first English interview back like since like seven months ago. But the more they're gonna do and the better they're gonna get. Stel was, did not even talk. Stel was laid back. He was like, I will let you do the English. <laughs> Ken did like start without being asked or told to speak. He started on his own. So I'm very proud of you, Ken. Justin and Josh, naturals. Pablo kind of led back. I feel like Pablo is just so confident with his English that he's like just letting the others speak because he's just like, he, know, he knows, he's more confident. So he's letting the others like take turn. Josh, what a cutie. What a cutie. Oh my God, Josh in this video, amazing. Also, the zombie apocalypse, I would love to see that, but if zombie apocalypse happened, maybe we would get a mana music video with zombies. That could happen. So I fully support. And this should definitely go to the Ni Niagara Falls. It's beautiful. And I wonder... I don't even... I haven't even checked where they're going in Canada, but I wonder if they're gonna hear French Canadian. <laughs> But I'm really excited actually for a lot of interviews in Canada and in the US. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.